Okay, this caravan isn't going anywhere. And this rear brake drum here, I'm on the right side, is locked up. And if you pull on it, see I can't even get the drum off. If you pull on it, the spring pulls it right back again. So it's pretty much stuck on the uh, shoes. So what I'm going to try to do is get behind it and um, turn the star wheel and see if I can uh, re release the tension on that and, and get it off. First of all, let's take off the little dust cover. It's right underneath the brake line. And now, I'm going to try to do with a long screwdriver is get at the the release lever. You'll feel te you'll feel the spring tension on it. So if you can see this with one screwdriver, this longer one right here that's moving, I'm lifting the lever off the star wheel. And meanwhile with the other one, with this one, I can't hold the camera and do this, but this screwdriver right here, I'm going to push down, turn the wheel upward. In so doing, I relieve the tension on it, kind of shorten that uh, strut, that adjusting strut so that the brake uh, is off the drum, the chute comes off the drum. Okay, so in turning that uh, star wheel from top to bottom, it's basically in a, a loosening position, we're able to get the brake drum off. And now this drum, if you look at it, it's just a ton of black material in there. You know, I, I'm not going to reuse this. I normally would have something like this resurfaced, but it's very rough. The brakes themselves, you know, are pretty worn down. They're not gone or anything, but uh, we're going to do a complete overhaul on this. Now here from this side, you can see what we were doing from the other side. We were pushing on this lever here. Let me get a screwdriver so you can see it better. We're pushing this up, and then we could turn the star wheel right here. We're able to turn it, you know, in a position where it would shorten, basically shorten the length of this adjuster here, allowing the brakes to come off. Because what they've done, I think, is seized up. It's rusted, so um, we'll start overhauling this. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is take off the hold down spring, and I have this tool, removal tool. And you have to turn it basically 90 degrees. This thing is so rusted here, I can't even tell which way to turn it. basically rusted together, so the whole pin is turning. Okay, we finally got to come off here. This thing was a bit of a bear. It actually flew flew out, so you might want to take, uh, put safety glasses on when you try to take this off. We have a stubborn one like this. Okay, I highly recommend using a brake pliers tool like this. Put one end through the spring, hook the other end on the shoe. And off it comes. There's a little clip on here as well. So I'll just get that out of the way. This did not part did not actually come with my replacement hardware kit, so make sure I don't lose that. Okay, next up we have the uh, adjuster spring here. The, and this is easy to pull off with just a needle nose pliers. And then just pull off your brake adjuster here, this lever. 
Okay, there's two more return springs, two lower ones, one here, and then one is underneath, connecting the two shoes together. So let's take those out next. I find it useful both installing and removing these springs to keep the brake shoes together. I've got a otherwise the spring action tends to uh, pull them apart as you pull on the springs. You know I've got a needle nose on this one. There. Let's pull it that way with the needle nose. What this does is it keep them, keeps the keeps the two shoes from separating, which can be a, a problem when you're trying to remove these springs. This lower spring will be next. Okay, so now we can take our little helper off here. And take off the leading shoe. Our pin. Okay, now we can take out the this lower strut here, keeping our good parts to one side. The only thing left now is the hold down on this trailing shoe. You can also take out at this point. You can take out the. Okay, so I remove this. Just remove this hold down. What I found was parking brake lever here, this actuator, was kind of seized up in the hole down here. And I think that was part of my problem why it was locked up. So we're going to clean this all up. Now this part right here can stay on the cable. If it comes off, which it may, it can be rather difficult to get back on. So leave it on there if at all possible. Okay, we're going to clean these things up, parts up a little bit, and I get started on reassembly.